Hello. Today's letter comes to us from Filipino, who writes, Dear Brother Ron, if you were God, would you want your creations to continuously praise you? Let's say you created the universe. Would you also enjoy people who continuously praise you? In everything that happens to them, may it be your doing or not, they still praise you. Would you want them to kill others in your name? Would you enjoy being reminded of how perfect you are? If you know how moron your creations are, would you give them unclear and debatable instructions on how to be saved? If you created them to be imperfect, would you punish them for their imperfections? Can you be a better god than any of the gods in the religions today? Well, dear Filipino, uh, God is not an egomaniac. He knows who and what he is, and he's very comfortable with himself. He does not need our pitiful praise to remind him. We, on the other hand, do need to remind ourselves of the importance of God in our lives. So while God may not need for us to praise and thank him, we do. God is also not a homicidal maniac. He does not delight in the death or misery of his children. Every chapter of the Quran begins with the words, in the name of Allah, the benevolent, the merciful. Jesus repeatedly described him as a loving father who wants only the best for us. So anybody who engages in criminal behavior and claims they are doing it because God wants them to is a liar and a blasphemer. Let me ask you a question. Suppose you're running a store. I walk into your store point a gun at your head, and say, do what I tell you or I'll blow your brains out. Now, how many crimes did I just commit? I do not worship a criminal. If the voice inside your head is telling you to kill others, I suspect you have your spiritual radio tuned to the wrong station. God does give you clear instructions for your life. You just have to learn how to listen. Now, I spent many years as a professional musician. I have an ear for music. I can listen to a song and play it back for you perfectly within a few minutes. There are many people who cannot do this because they are tone deaf. Likewise, there are people who are spiritually tone deaf. That's what the Bible means when it says, let those who have ears to hear, hear. Unfortunately, many who have not developed an ear for God depend on human sources claiming to be his voice. Most of these people preach a one-size-fits-all God. They assume that the message God has given them is the right message for everybody. But God is an individual God. He speaks to each of us in the language we understand and gives each of us the message that is right for us individually. If we learn to listen to his voice instead of relying on human interpreters, the message is clear and accurate. And finally, one of the things I love about God is that he knows what an imperfect fool I am and he loves me anyway. Since he is not bound by our laws of space and time, he has already seen my future sins and has already forgiven me for them. Since he is not a homicidal maniac, he would not condemn me to eternal damnation for doing what he sent me here to do. Those who preach hellfire and damnation are merely using tried and true marketing techniques to gain customers. Now, all good salespeople know that the fear of loss is a greater motivator than the hope of gain. They also understand the importance of building urgency into the sale. 
Repent now, because you might die tomorrow and would burn in hell forever unless you join the ranks of the saved. It's lousy theology, but it keeps bodies in the pews and money in the collection plate. Now, I'm not any kind of God, but I am a person who has studied him and come away with a vision of a loving God who lives within each of us as the Holy Spirit. He does not want us to listen to imperfect people giving an imperfect message. He wants us to listen to him. If you do, you will find his word is easy to understand and dedicated to our benefit. Hope this helps. Thank you for joining us.